In Consumer Corner, we'll take a look at trends and products creating a buzz here in China. On today's show, we'll discuss exorbitant profits in China's funeral industry and where the Chinese government stands on this issue. The month of April opens with one of China's most important cultural festivals, the Qingming Festival or Tomb Sweeping Day. It's a day when people visit and tend to the graveyards of their dearly departed loved ones and honor their ancestors. Every year around this time, accusations flare up that the funeral industry is literally robbing the living to bury the dead. Traditional Confucianism wisdom teaches Chinese people to respect the elderly and honor the dead. However, in an increasingly capitalistic Chinese society, these traditional values have become the tools for shrewd businessmen to boost sales in the funeral industry. Many Chinese people would spend a life's fortune, willingly or not, to purchase an expensive funeral service package just to ensure that their loved ones will rest in peace. According to the China Youth Daily, in major cities it is not uncommon for cemetery plots to be sold at higher prices than that of actual real estate. Thanks to cheap land prices near mountainous areas, where most cemeteries are located, developers easily stand to make nearly 400% of their profits by selling graveyard plots alone. Unfortunately, purchasing the cemetery plot is only the first step in the process for a full funeral service package. Optional funeral services charge a plethora of fees, including corpse loading fee, makeup fee, logistic fees, and so on. Industry insiders estimate that unnecessary services may account for as much as 80% of total funeral spending. As a somewhat desperate attempt to thwart the competition, some hospitals have partnered with private funeral companies and pledged to send over corpses just as soon as the patients are pronounced dead. In exchange for the referral, private funeral companies usually provide a percentage of kickbacks to their public co-conspirators. Fearing increased competition from private funeral homes, some public funeral homes have turned away customers who independently purchased their own caskets and insisted that they buy authorized ones directly from the funeral home instead. To make matters worse, even China's vast expanses of land won't be enough for the amount of graves the country will need. In Shanghai, graveyards will reach maximum capacity in less than eight years. In Beijing, graveyard shortages have pushed some families to bury their loved ones away from home in the nearby Hebei province. Chinese media says that the shortage is likely to spread to other major cities in the next few years. Responding to the claim that the funeral industry makes more profit than it should, the Chinese government painted a very different picture. Government officials said that over 66% of public funeral homes operate with no subsidiaries from the government and the average profit rate of a funeral home is only that of about 8.6%, which hardly sustains the industry's increasing operational and personnel costs. As to the veracity of the government's stance on the issue, reports about excessive profits in the funeral industry have infuriated many Chinese netizens, who then in turn took to the internet as a means to vent their rage and frustration. Weibo user TNT1 pointed out that the funeral industry should remain profit-free in order to better serve the interests of ordinary Chinese people. Quote, This industry shouldn't be profitable to begin with. How dare they mention profit margin? Shame on them. The government should be spending social welfare money on this industry. When are we going to stop profiting from the dead? It doesn't make sense that the Ministry of Civil Affairs tries to take money from people they should be helping. Finally, a netizen complained that the high cost of living and heavy taxation not only serve to make the daily lives of Chinese people insufferable, but even such costs make dying unbearable as well. Quote, the government should be careful what it says. Every Chinese person knows that we can't afford to live. We are taxed for everything. If our income rose by 10%, consumer prices would increase 30 to 50%. We never have enough money to live. Even if it looks like we're making more money than we used to, our purchasing power has pretty much stayed the same. And worst of all, we can't even afford to die because it costs a fortune to rent a hearse, cremate the body, and purchase a cemetery plot. Coming up next in Guess the Price, we'll find out how well you understand what the cost of living is here in Beijing. Stay tuned.